G'day everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you our new uh, plug-in translator for the BRZ86. So it's similar to our other um, translators, except that's for uh, the Rebel LS, which uh, is this unit here. Uh, so it comes with a uh, harness to suit the LS motor. So here's the uh, motor wiring here. Uh, so these are all the plugs for the motor. And these are some extra wires for uh, uh, auxiliary outputs, uh, radiator fans, if you, if you want to run it straight off the um, off the Haltech. Or uh, as I'll describe later, you can run all those functions, including the fuel pump, through uh, the translator. So, um, yeah, that's the grommet for the firewall. This all goes inside. Main unit there with the plugs. And we've got some plugs here for extra I.O. So we don't need anything for this at the moment, but um, you might want to add some features uh, which you can add into these plugs here. So the ones we will need is this plug here, which is the one that used to go to the uh, accelerator pedal. So this will go to the translator and the translator will then uh, go to the pedal. Uh, the other plug we've got is this one here, which is the uh, CAN bus plug. So we'll see that uh, we'll need to go to the translator as well. And there's also a uh, pink wire here, which is the ignition on off. Uh, so it will go to the translator as well. So this is the new translator board. Uh, so as you can see, we've got two plugs in here at the moment. This is the uh, translator to Haltech Rebel. Uh, adapter harness so this has got three plugs on it um, this is the APP plug which goes into this one and then we've got this one which was the uh, CAN bus uh, Deutsch plug and this is the pink wire uh, for the um, ignition so it's widened to two um, of the four plugs that go would been in the original ECU so it's actually labeled on the back here uh, so got engine harness and engine harness and the other two plugs are body harness and those two plugs are two of the four uh, plugs that the original FA20 ECU plugged into so yeah I'll, uh, I'll connect it up and give you a look alrighty we've uh, plugged it all in now so as you can see that all four plugs on the translator are now in um, so the two uh, two body plugs here and here um, into the car. The other two plugs uh, we've just tucked up into under here. Um, some people can remove that. It's um, all that wiring on the other two redundant plugs went to the engine bay uh, in the FA20 engine. So with that engine not there anymore, you can actually remove all the wiring to those plugs and remove the plugs itself. So, yeah, we've also plugged in the um, Deutsch connector for the CAN bus and also the ignition um, and also the uh, the pedal wiring. So that pedal wiring's now um, through the translator uh, onto the uh, pedal in the car. So that's pretty much it for connecting up um, for the main requirements. And the other thing you'll have to do is uh, connect the positive and the negative of the Haltech uh, to your battery. Uh, there is actually a wire here as well um, labelled fuel pump. So this is a direct output out of the Haltech out of the power connector. Um, so this new Haltech Rebel is also a um, power distribution module. So it can actually power um, a few uh, big loads uh, directly. So things like fuel pump, uh, the fans, uh, even the starter motor. Um, starter motor trigger anyway so yeah it's up to you you can wire these um, so for instance this fuel pump you can run this to the back directly to your fuel pump um, alternatively um, via CAN bus uh, the translator will also enable the, the standard um, fuel pump control module to work when that triggers the fuel pump to come on and similar with the fans you can um, you can wire the fans uh, directly up to one of these wires here. 
Um, so the fans are powered directly off the Haltech or the two fan speeds um, also transmitted via CAN bus to the translator and the translator will actually turn the um, the uh, the fans on through the um, standard relays. Uh, it does it also for air conditioning as well, so the air conditioning relays and you can also use the standard wiring for things like the starter motor or you could wire the starter motor up to one of these. So yeah, there's a lot of options there. Um, plenty of ways you can go about doing things and wiring it up. So um, yeah, all right, well, um, I'll connect this up to a, a dummy um, dummy function and um, give you a look at the software and the uh, integration to the BRZ. Alrighty guys, so here we've got the Haltech Rebel um, Nexus software. Uh, so we've got this uh, Rebel hooked into the BRZ through the translator. So I've made this uh, BRZ translator diagnostic page in the Rebel software. And from this, you can uh, see all the data from the BRZ. So at the moment, we're simulating a uh, engine speed of 4,000 revs per minute. And you can see 4,000 on the, on the dash there. Um, we've also got the pedal, accelerator pedal. So we've got a harness there for that that adapts the um, the translator to the uh, Rebel harness. We're also simulating a temperature of 85 degrees, which is uh, just under half. Now if we, um, if we change that, uh, okay, so we've got 98, so we can see one of the fans has just now kicked in. Uh, the temperature's still uh, still half, I'd say it would have gone up a little bit. And if I um, simulate 130, uh, the other fans kicked in now. And yeah, it's gone right in a hot. So yeah, all this is... Uh, done through the translator and we've also got other data coming through um, so we've got AC so if I turn the AC on here see the AC request has, has come on because uh, it thinks the engine's running it's commanded the AC compressor to come on so if I turn that off you can see that both of those are turned off uh, I'll just get rid of those fans Uh, so it thinks the engine's running, so the, the fuel pump is on. Uh, you probably can't hear it, but it's, it, it is running. Uh, we've also got the brake pedal uh, wired through. Uh, we've got the clutch pedal. I'm just pressing that there. Um, we've also got um, all this data here. This is from the ABS for the uh, dynamics control. Uh, so we've got wheel speeds. Uh, we've got the steering angle, so if I move the steering wheel and see the angle change and we've also got the yaw rate and um, lateral and longitudinal uh, G sensors so it's a bit hard when it's a stationary car but if I rock the car they move a little bit but we'll go for a drive in a second and, um, and show you that. The other thing we've got is the ABS mode so you can use this in the, uh, in the tune um, so if I press different buttons here, uh, which is one right, of the different functions of the ABS, uh, that is then translated into the Nexus. So you can uh, go and map uh, different ABS modes into the uh, into the Rebel. So if I hold that in. Um, yeah, it goes. Yeah, so there's a few different maps there. So up to you if you want to put do that. Um, in the tune and um, make that yeah alter the uh, traction control or uh, other functions in the tune you, you can do so uh, and they've also got the cruise control so again if I um, operate the cruise control button uh, that comes through um, yeah so we've pretty much mapped everything we can think across um, and yeah, so we've got a, a, the translator with a harness that goes between the Rebel um, harness and the translator. And then the translator just plugs in the BRZ. So there's 
basically all uh, plug and play. Uh, or the other thing that didn't was the start button. So I put on the clutch, and if I press the start button, yeah, it says it's the start button there.